given your true obvious appreciation of the importance of ritual, that it's not just the moral, mm. but the ritual is critical. Do you think, so obviously my question implies I do, and I do, I think that Christians have lost something in dropping the rituals of the Torah? I think that traditional Christians have taken the rituals of the Torah and have reintegrated them into Christ. And so we have ritual, traditional Christians, Orthodox Catholics, we have rituals, but those rituals have been brought into the light of Christ. So certain rituals are kept and certain rituals, we could say, have been integrated in a different way, especially purity rituals, because we are the impure that have joined the flock. Then the relationship to, to purity rituals are different for, for the Christians. There's other examples, but ultimately, the, 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 if you go to an Orthodox church, you'll notice that people have, we have processions, we have things we venerate. So you think Protestant Christianity has lost something? I do think so. Yeah, yeah I do too. But you know, that, remember that uh, the first Christians were Jews, and the story of early Christianity is them working out forms of worship. I know. That's and there were a I'm bunch asking. of Jews who yeah. did it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's got much... And, re and rejecting certain rituals for on theological grounds. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask the Christians here a question. I've asked a Christian clergy, of, again, for 40 years. Uh, my first program on radio was, was with clergy. And uh, I, I will tell you in advance that the answers are 50-50. With, and it's no distinction between Catholic and Protestant, no distinction between evangelical and, and more liberal uh, in, within Protestantism. Are Christians bound to the Sabbath commandment? What we see in the early years of Christianity, in the 30s, 40s, 50s, one of the earliest pieces of data we, we, we find is this shift from gathering on the Saturday to gathering on the Sunday. And so what we see there, I think, is an attempt, as Jonathan was saying, to, to preserve and hold the rituals enunciated here, but to fold them in and give them yeah. a Christological framing. we do celebrate framing. the Sabbath. Once a year so, we celebrate the Sabbath. Oh, right. Okay, so you're too, not, so, all right, so are any Christians at this table feel you are bound, you're bound, so this is not a challenge. This is, I, I, I am in, I'm in love with America's Christians, uh, to be, perfectly uh, uh, open about you. it. <laughs> <laughs> Not all, but, uh, but more, uh, At least I'm those very around touched. This table. It is mutual, <laughs> thank you. It, it is a very beautiful thing in my life. But uh, uh, technically speaking, one would say that Christians are bound to nine commandments. Well, well because, of the, because of the Sabbath. Well, no, but no. Dennis, the Sabbath, it, the Sunday, well, that's, on the, that's, the, that's the resurrection day. Well, no, it's a new no, creation. So the creation element is there. And the idea of the, the, the basic principle of the Sabbath, that, it, that it, it recognizes that moment in the week, that moment in the seven-day cycle of God resting at the end of creation, the culmination of creation. It's shifted to Sunday because Christ is seen as the new creation. Right, so fine. Are you, uh, it's okay. Are you bound, is a Christian bound to Sunday? Well, I would say yes. it depends. On, yes. I would say yes. But Dennis, remember, the difference between reality and ritual is in the Hebrew Scriptures too. And the prophets were then veying against the noise of solemn assemblies and so on. And Jeremiah's, there'll be a day when it'll be in their spirit, not just in the law. In other words, that's in the Hebrew Scriptures. Now, there's no question that Christians overreacted so I'm an evangelical, and many evangelicals vastly overreacted. I agree with, with John on that. And say, the Sabbath. You know, I spent part of my youth in Scotland, and you had Sabbatarianism, and it was just heavy legalism, and it was deadly for a kid. And so many people just threw it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They were throwing out the legalism, but they threw out the real mm -hmm. thing. Well, and and I we're think rediscovering the brilliance of the real thing. That right. uh, conflict is, there's lots of stories of Jesus and the upright Jews, or the Pharisees. And he, you know, he helps a donkey on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And they're very 
uh, and, and he heals somebody on the Sabbath. And they're very legalistic about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Sabbath is, mm -hmm. uh, the, man was, the Sabbath is made for man, right, not man for right, the Sabbath. Right, right. Christ so, tries yeah. to subort the Sabbath, to subordinate the Sabbath to an, a higher principle even than the Sabbath. 